Hey, I've been playing around with TurboLinks for a while. In fact, this COVID-19 tracker application uses TurboLinks behind the scenes to behave like an SPA, even though it's actually a traditional server rendered HTML application. TurboLinks for web applications on its own, it's pretty cool. However, there is one aspect of TurboLinks that I think it's not shared enough. DHH and the Basecamp team have been advocating this whole approach for a while, and honest, honestly, I have no idea why it's not been seriously considered. The Basecamp team has this famous blog post called Hybrid Sweet Spot Native Navigation Web Content, where they do an overview of how they use TurboLinks to power their mobile applications in the Basecamp app itself. Having a native application wrapper serving web content in a web view. That's the whole approach. The native wrapper allows you to build real native menus and uh, transitions, page transitions around your web content. Sam Stephenson, also from Basecamp, um, he has a really good talk called TurboLinks, I can't believe it's not native, where he covers this whole aspect of building true, mob true hybrid mobile applications with demos and so on. I highly recommend this talk. So I wanted to give this approach a try for the COVID tracker, build a mobile wrapper around it. And the first thing that I did was looking for the Android bridge and one of the first things you find there is the deprecated warning, which is scary. Nobody wants to use something that isn't maintained anymore. However, DHH himself has said on Twitter that they have been working on version 2 of the Android adapter, and that's what's powering the Hey mobile applications. Hey is Basecamp's new um, email service that will be released soon. And yeah, when I thought I, I would give this whole thing a try and see what comes next in the following days from Basecamp for the version 2. And on top of that, I have I also found this other project which makes it a little bit more approachable. Uh, it's a React Native wrapper around the TubeLinks adapters. In my opinion, React makes it like really easy and approachable to build uh, mobile applications. That's what I, I wanted to share. So this is the mobile application and it consists of a single uh, React component, React native component, let's put it like that, which is called app. And the only thing that this component does is start in the TurboLinks adapter. It passes the URL of the application that you want to wrap your in this TubeLink adapter. In in my case, I'm using my local IP address, but you could use your real application domain here. I'm doing this because I do have some changes that I had to do locally, like some responsive tweaks in the actual COVID tracker, and they are not deployed yet. So yeah, let's let's get it started. The the web application is a Laravel application, so one thing that you have to do is start the web application using Artisan, and when you're doing that, you have to specify um, the host name and put it like 0000. That will make this application available to anyone on my local IP, on my local network, using this machine's uh, local IP address. I'm doing that because I'm using my phone to actually uh, build the application. So the application will be deployed in my, in my phone, not in an emulator. I'm going to put this on the side because I'm going to render my phone here soon. So next, next thing is actually going to the COVID tracker mobile application. And I'm going to start the React bridge, React adapter. Um, and another step is actually running the application, the Android application, which I'm going to do now. You can run it with npm run Android. And that will build the application and actually deploy it to my phone, which you will be able to see here now.
So you can already see some requests is com coming through here as the application starts and yeah now you see the whole application um, be on my phone working as a native application and that's pretty cool I think um, on the web Turbolinks hijacks your links and makes the page transitions behave like SPAs but on the mobile it also hijacks your links but it makes the page transitions behave like an actual activity on Android or screen on iOS and I'm not sure what it's called on, on iOS but yeah so when I click here in Brazil you will see a new activity something that resembles a new activity um, popping up and the data from Brazil is here and you can come back to the home screen and you can also go to another place like the US and that will render here which is cool it's awesome we already have our mobile application um, wrapper one aspect that I haven't covered here but Sam Sam Stephenson covers in his talk which again highly recommend check it out um, is that you could optimize your UX per screen so you could have a screen that um, could behave differently on mobile so you do, do you wrap that link and when you hijack the visit you instead of doing a turbo links visit you actually create uh, render a new react component which will be that screen that's particular screen so you could say like if that URL contains I don't know let's say cases create or something then render the other react component so yeah the idea is that you would have so yeah the idea is that you would have um, you could optimize per URL which is cool I think it, this is a really nice approach you could have let's say 60% of your application using a responsive web content and optimize only the 40% that could actually benefit from um, a UX which is more mobile friendly or something which requires mobile more mobile work work for for it to happen I'm really optimistic about this whole approach and I wanted to share this with you all I can't wait to see what the Basecamp team uh, has to share with us all about the new Hey application and how they are actually working uh, on that and also for the version 2 of the adapters which is coming out um, probably this year. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See you around.